guys, Sherry here from the Netflix Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a yin reading. I'm trying to get away from the terminology of the yin and yang, or sorry, of the divine masculine and feminine, and the twin flame as well. Um, there, you know, there's just a, this stereotype or, you know, story that goes along with the whole twin flame thing. So, um... I'd like to see it as a yin and a yang in the union of all dualities within yourself. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a crystal ball, so a 5x5 five five grid, distant past, recent past, present, near future, final outcome. There's going to be four cornerstone cards, which represent the main energy of the reading, plus a center card, which is the main message from the universe. All right, so let's begin. Hermit. So this is the first cornerstone card, Distant Past. So you've been on a spiritual journey. You've disconnected from the 3D reality. You've um, let go of the stories, the chains, um, the codependent type of um, connections. You've cut karmic ties. And so you've been on a spiritual journey. and you've gained a lot of wisdom, knowledge. So you desire to come back or you are sharing that knowledge with other people. So that's beautiful. You found your light within and that's a cornerstone card. Page of Swords. So this could represent an air sign, um, but this is you having mental clarity, making decisions being detached emotionally there's all these ideas swirling around in your head um, so you're formulating plans and making decisions so this is also a very important communication card so pages are messengers, swords communication, so very important open, honest, truthful communication so either you spoke your truth or you received communication um, from someone who may have been a hermit or um, you know maybe you've detached yourself um, and then spoke your truth um, let's see what else it says what the other cards are okay next wow the knight of swords that's interesting because I had a the same type of po progression in the masculine reading. There was like the nine of wands and the ten of wands. So the page and the sword. So you took action after making decisions, after exploring all of the avenues. You made a decision to take action and move forward. So this is a an undirected energy. It's very scattered all over the place. Um, it's very loud communication, kind of in your face, very um, aggressive. So, you know, either there was, you know, cutting communication or um, this movement away from I was going to say movement away from conflict, but this guy generally likes to go towards conflict. He, you know, is a champion. He fights for justice, but he's a rebel without a cause, so he fights for everybody, basically. Next. Wow. Lover's card. So it's Major Kana, so very heavy energy, very important energy. Uh, so this represents you know, the deep passion and desire that you feel for somebody that you love, your true love. It's unlike anything you've ever experienced before. So it is a longing card. So it's a desire to have that connection. There, were, there was so much detachment and airiness over here. And then suddenly this blaze of passion what was ignited or has been a driving force 
cornerstone card. Queen of Pentacles, wow. So the King and Queen of Pentacles showed up in the Divine Masculine reading. So the 3D reality, this manifestation of a 3D reality seems to be a theme at the moment. Um, over here we have a detachment from the 3D reality and then air and then um, more air actually. This is Gemini card. And then the cornerstone card is earth energy. Um, the hermit is also earth. Uh, so the queen of pentacles, she is somebody who's stable, grounded, um, successful, has abundance. Um, she looks after herself. It's uh, independent freedom. So beautiful groundedness happening for your cornerstone cards. But there's this longing and desiring to move forward or um, something isn't fully manifested in this twin flame or this, you know, true love connection. Uh, so recent past, five of cups, wow, the masculine got this as the zero point card, main message from the universe. So five of cups, pain, sorrow, loss, deep regret, deep mourning. So this is a closed off heart and it's right below the hermit. So whatever you've had to walk away from, it has left a scar on your soul. Uh, so you've, you've recently experienced something painful. Um, so whenever you've attached yourself to something and it leaves or it doesn't work out, then you're left with this, this pain in your heart. Um, so, you know, may, somebody may have detached in the past that it, you're still mourning over, um, or you've, you've come to terms with the loss and grieved, you've moved on or, or you've grown from it. So let's see what else it says. Two of Swords. Okay, so this is like a stop sign an intersection, crossroads. So it's no movement. And so this is a decision needed to be made. This is having two roads, two choices, and both have far-reaching consequences, right? So you can't make those decisions. You're stuck. You're afraid. There's loss and gain on either side. So you know, it's right beside that Five of Cups, so it's like you have been waiting for communication. You've been desiring this connection to resurface, but you are, you know, you were locked behind this gate or wall, waiting for communication, waiting for a decision. You know, because this person is kind of looking to the past, you know, so it's, there's still this sense of formulating plans, thinking about things, not sure. Okay, next. High Priestess, wow. Wow. Okay, it's almost like opposite energy of this card here. So, the Five of Cups is going within, but it's moving into sorrow, moving into pain listening to the stories, um, you know, attaching to something on the outside world, but it's, it's breaking you internally. Whereas the high priestess, she's a goddess. She's powerful. Uh, she goes within, but she listens to her intuition. She sees her past, her lessons learned from a higher perspective. So she uses her instinct to guide her. So there's this moment of clarity is what I see here. It's like, wow, I can decide how I want to live my life. Am I going to live it with pain, regret, you know, feeling alone or, you know, um, see 
the bigger picture is what I'm seeing here. You know, so it's this crossroads moment in clarity, realization of your power. Ace of Wands, awesome. So this is go light, go time, the ignition switch, blast forward. It's inspiration, creative ideas, um, feeling driven, feeling passion. So it's a Kundalini awakening. So this represents a brand new life. This, that moment of clarity, that spark. You know, it's like, wow, you, you woke up from a dark place. So this, again, you know, starting all over again, starting from zero, from scratch, from nothing. And, but it's more in line with your spiritual path. So it's right below the lover's card. So either you made it, yeah, I'm feeling you made a de decision to stop thinking, to stop worrying, to release whatever attachment that is, and you moved into this state of, of being, of knowing, and you had clarity, and, and what I feel is just openness. What will be, will be. Wow. King of Wands. So this could be a fire sign. Um, but we have, like, all of this passion happening over here and it's like you know when you go within and you think about this connection you feel alive and you're manifest you're trying to manifest that into the 3d reality you know this passionate connection with the yang the masculine um, so this is somebody who's a leader, who is spiritually awakened, who's a detached, very powerful card. So, you know, I'd like to see this as masculine flame, twin flame. This is fire. So either this represents you stepping into this leadership role, this spiritual role, um, you know, being the center of the sun, being um, a free spirit and leading others, inspiring others, or this, this is you envisioning the masculine, wanting that to manifest. But, you know, the two wand energies together, it's like he's holding that ace of wands in his hands. So maybe there was an offer from a fire sign to start this new life together. Or you, as a feminine, embraced your masculine energy and realized that you have this incredible gift and power to manifest whatever you desire. So present page of cups, wow. So, all the signs have been represented in this reading. So, this is water sign. Uh, this is communication of love. Messages of love. Um, so, somebody is inspired by you or you inspire someone. Um, you're the muse. Or somebody, you find somebody else is your muse. So it's very creative, um, blissful energy, um, and it opens you up to creativity. But really, this is kind of pointing to the fact that you desire communication, especially from the Five of Cups there. Um, or you are sending love out into the universe. Or communication is coming towards you. Next, Ten of Wands. So this also showed up in the masculine. So you've got a burden on your back. You've, you're exhausted. You're caught in the machine. You're giving too much of yourself. 
but the 10 is completion, it's an ending. So um, there's a need for self-love here and looking after yourself. So this next card is the main message from the universe, zero point four cups. So you are stuck in a longing energy. Um, on the surface, you may be acting like you're moving on, but you are at the heart of the matter, you're stuck in this stasis. This is disconnect, boredom, feeling like things aren't moving. Again, pointing to that two of swords, stuckness. There's a new beginning there. It's go like go time, but nothing's manifesting and it, you feel um, disillusioned. So, you know, there's a person here who's kind of looking out the window, longing wondering why, where, you know, does he love me, does he want me, does he desire me. So this is the energy you're projecting out into the universe. Next is, wow, Bay Chakra. So this was a cornerstone card for the masculine. So you're desiring safety, security, this is the most basic chakra, number one. So, you, you know, in his reading, it was a cornerstone card, and I really saw it as a pillar of strength. But in your reading, I'm seeing it as this fear. You know, here you're, you're tossing and turning in bed, um, not wanting that alarm clock to ring. And here, you know, you're looking to the past, consumed by this feeling of loss and disconnect. And here, your just basic your your basic sense of safety is is wavering. King of Swords, right below the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, it could represent um, could represent two people, karmic partnership, or just two aspects of the masculine, two aspects of yourself. Uh, so the king of swords could represent an air sign. So he represents communication, clarity, mental control. Uh, so this card showed up in the near future position for the masculine. So it showed up at the Five of Swords that this finger pointing, this negative energy um, was being directed at, at the King of Swords, but it bounced off him. You know, he, he knows his truth. You, you can, you know, Talk until the cows come home? I don't know. I'm not very good with <laughs> little sayings like that. But anyway, um, you know, you can talk until you're blue in the face. How about that? And it won't face him. He's unchained. You know, the masculine is free. And here you can see he has mental control. He's not emotionally attached. And because of that disconnect, it's like it's causing the feminine to to um, feel imbalanced, you know, f a lot of fear there and exhaustion. So you may need to express your truth or vice versa because we have two communication cards here. Another one up here and yeah, I think that's it. All right, near future, wow, divine masculine. So this is your yang, your twin flame, your mirror. Um, so either he comes into contact with you in the near future, um, or you embody this power. So let me just pull a clarifier for that.
What do you mean by all of the masculine energy in the reading spirit? Is this her masculine energy within herself or her twin flame? Peace it came reverse, so if it's upside down, huh? Okay, well, I'll read both then. How about that? Okay. So I'm pulling it more for the divine, you know, the, the emperor card here. Um, this is also fire energy. It's like one, well, the ultimate level um, in terms of masculine power um, being, you know, the center of the sun fire. So peace, freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled freedom from want and the soul satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. Wow. So you're being asked to completely accept your, the reality as it is. So the relationship message, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours, and it is to be savored. So it's like you feel, <clears throat> sorry, you feel imbalanced. You've got this longing energy. So you're in a want. So you need to correct that energy within yourself. So what I'm seeing here is that you need to embrace more of a masculine qualities. Do you know what I mean? Because there's, you're not balanced is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so the protection message. Now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there are um, dissonant notes in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within and fine-tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass. And once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. So again, you know, it kind of points to this disharmony. This imbalance, right? Being, going within and feeling pain. Um, and then on the other side is going in and feeling yourself vibrating with your own soul. Do you know what I mean? So, find peace within. So next is Judgment Card, Grand Awakening. Whoa! Okay, so apparently that's important information here. So, wake the fuck up. That's what I just heard. So this is realizing your entire life is just an illusion, just a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. You create the characters, the plot. So this is you looking back at your life. This ten of wands, this feeling of being stuck, this desire to have a new beginning in love and longing for it. And it's causing burdens, calling, causing you to feel unsafe. Do you know what I mean? It's like you are desiring something and either it shows up like a flash, like a bolt of lightning into your life, or you need to realize that you may be creating um, stories that aren't true or you have an epiphany, a realization about your masculine. There's clarity, you know, because the 10 is a completion, right? So 
you're nearing the end of feeling this disconnected energy. So either you make a judgment call that releases you from this or um, or clarity comes from contact with your masculine. Okay, next. Wow, Nine of Wands. So this showed up as a cornerstone card for the masculine. Wounded warrior, exhaustion. So it was main energy for the masculine. So what I'm feeling is he's bringing these three energies into your reading, into your energy field. Um, you know, it's like this final battle or final push. Uh, I feel, you know, something's completing. So the Nine of Wands is spiritual strength. You have that inner Buddha to give it that final push. Um, you are very powerful, and but you have a lot of battle scars, wounds. So the masculine may come to you as this wounded warrior, but there is clarity, there's this epiphany, there's this rebirth that happens. Or this could be you taking on negative, you know, feeling negative, feeling exhausted because you've been waiting and longing and continually trying to disconnect from those stories, from longing. Um, but you're replaying a movie over and over in your mind. That's what I see there. Especially with that. It was like it's moving forward and then boom, suddenly it stopped. It caused you to turn in, but it's still causing you exhaustion in your present day. Wow, four of wands. Wow, and you know there's this, now I'm seeing a different timeline kind of emerge here where the masculine got this card in the recent past position, it was over here. And around it, there was this devil, right, that was kind of constricting him, stopping him. And so that's why he wasn't able to move forward. So we saw a lot of clearing in his energy field. It wasn't heavy energy. It was just kind of final brushing away of the ashes, that kind of thing. And so earlier... You know, there's a sense of really groundedness that arose when this base chakra showed up in the corner. There's this, like, grounded knowing and connection of the twin flame union. You know, that's that was driving him, and now here in the near future, it's like he's bringing that energy with him. And it shifted this timeline to now feeling like this is grounded energy, this is strength, this is a new start is growing and um, it's like pillar energy. So Four of Wands is Twin Flame confirmation card, especially with the Divine Masculine who's bringing it to you. Um, so the Four of Wands could represent marriage, engagement, um, buying a home, travel. It's the manifestation of the Twin Flames or the true love into 3D reality. So it's peace, harmony, manifestation, um, feeling like you've arrived, but yet there's your whole future is still spread out before you. Okay, next. Five, oh my God, five of swords. So remember I was mentioning earlier that the five of swords came in with the King of Swords in the mouse gun reading. So it's like this vibration was bouncing off of him. Now, here we have it as an energy that's directed away from the twin flame connection, the union. Um, but it's now in front of the masculine. It's almost like it's stopping him. So it was in the near future for him, and it is in the near future for the feminine. So I read it as him fearing that he will get this finger pointing. 
but being able to, um, you know, shield himself, right? And ultimately that um, clears the road for the Two of Cups spiritual union. So it is an energy that is leaving. So this is coming, this is energy that's being brought. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is so scratchy. So this is, un this is energy that's being brought into the final outcome row. So I feel, you know, him being empowered, being unchained as the king of wands, as the king of air, and just glides through whatever fears and negative thoughts may be stopping him. So it's, that is a very strong rose of masculine energy that's coming into your reading. I never saw that in the masculine reading. It's like your energies are kind of merging together. So final row, cornerstone card. Wow, destiny. I um I uh, put out this song yesterday, Justin Timberlake, what goes around comes around. And so some of you guys were curious about this card, you know, because uh, the song is about somebody cheating, somebody, um, you know, trying to find love elsewhere when really true love was standing in, right in front of him. And, you know, it's almost like you're hurting yourself. She was hurting herself by doing this. So it's all about karma, right? What you put out, you get back. And so clearing karma is important, but the uh, this is the wheel of fortune. So, you know, <laughs> what I'm trying to connect it with is this divine masculine card. It's like he's cleared his energy field and he's bringing in this wind of change, but it's built on spiritual strength. However, there's still this five of cups in the background, this pain that he caused the feminine or vice versa that is still kind of lingering. So the feminine, you guys need to clear your energy field. Okay. So your destiny is knocking on the door. There's a sense that this masculine energy is coming towards you, but um, let that go and please be careful of the Five of Swords directing negative energy towards somebody. So it's a completion of a cycle from five to ten years. So there's again, there's a sense of this journey's end. And it's been a long journey. And you've missed him. But look what's coming. Oh my God. The Two of Cups. Are you kidding me? Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. So this showed up in the masculine. Same row. Recognizing your true love. And having the heart chakra open activates higher levels of consciousness and it's beautiful that it's right be below the Grand Awakening card. You know, it's... You've been stuck at the crossroads for so long um, and it's like what you've been waiting for is manifesting is what I see or just a reminder that you're always connected to your counterpart in the 5D but with it being right beside destiny it's something beautiful is on its way wow the full card so this is the beginning of the full journey we have a rebirth and this is an actual you know baby state of mind having no attachments it's zero point it's taking a leap of faith just trusting letting go Sorry, a brand new beginning. Wow. Yeah, what I what I'm seeing it's like this birth of love here. Completion of the cycle. Four of swords. Interesting. 
Um, so this is somebody who goes to, you know, still place, rest, to rejuvenate your soul, to find clarity, and also to heal your heart. So what I'm feeling here is you actually healing and letting go of these lingering vibrations and that that kind of energy draws the masculine towards you or this you know there's two masculine energies here so it could be you know just him healing himself okay final cornerstone card wow wow a uh, high priest crown chakra activated um, so it is a spiritual leader this is a divine masculine in the 5d so I'm not seeing 3d fully manifested although you kind of feel that energy here it would have been crazy to see the king of Pentacles show up over here again but we have the Queen of Pentacles as a um, cornerstone card. His reading was a King of Pentacles. So the, you can definitely see the yin and the yang in the reading. So either the masculine comes to you as the spiritual leader, this all-knowing, um, you know, deity or whatever you want to call them. And... I, I don't know, it's almost like he comes to you in this spirit form, this pure spirit form, this energy of light. Now this could also be you becoming a spiritual leader, but, you know, there's so much power, male power here that I really feel, you know, he is offering you strength, saying I'm not with you in the the 3D, but I'm with you, or sorry, yeah, I'm not with you in the 3D, but I'm with you in the 5D, so it's like, I've been with you all along, that's what I'm kind of seeing here, you know, he's in every row, I'm seeing him over here as well, Yeah, it kind of reflects back to the Twin Flame reading, I'm everywhere, see me, So this could be you seeing the masculine for who he really truly is and just embracing that. And he comes to you as this newborn soul almost. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Mists and Mermaids and I'll read that to you. Thank you again, you guys, for your support and love. Oh my God, I would not do this without you. Are you kidding me? You're, you guys give me so much confidence. Um, yeah. So I leave, please leave a comment. That's how I know what I'm doing is the right path. Um, and I just want to remind guys uh, to check your energy because I do absorb the energy uh, that you're projecting in... Um, in the comments and although I love it when people vent um, just I'm just asking that you check the energy because I, I do absorb it and it does affect me uh, so let's keep it positive and happy feels but please do express yourself share whatever is on your heart um, but just know that I do read the comments okay so beautiful mermaid with butterflies Okay, sagacious butterfly rising above her tainted pond. How does she ascend to find peace and purity beyond? A lovely young mermaid gazes longingly at the beautiful multicolored butterfly ascending above her out of the rippling pond. Her heart longs to go with them and escape the mire in which she finds herself. So the message, rise above your circumstances. It's time to rise above your current cir circumstances. Wow, and that's, that's what I was trying to say here. It's like you, um, you're taking a higher perspective, seeing things from a bird's eye view, right? Like, 
like that. So it says, It's time to rise above your current circumstances. You have been content with lesser and corrupted things for too long. Look inside your most inner self and realize that you are not happy with aspects of your situation. Deep down you realize that you are better than your circumstances. Perhaps your circle of friends is pulling you down or in a bad direction. Perhaps your work is beneath your skills, abilities and aspirations. But you are having trouble breaking free. It could be your home life, your significant other, your neighbor, or your domicile self. This is not up to your standards. That is not up to your standards. However, just like the butterfly mermaid, you have seen a path to peace and purity. Shake off the corrupt acquaintances and the duties that are beneath you. Aspire for more, spiritually, emotionally, and intellectually. Take inspiration from the noble butterfly. Take wing and rise above. Wow. So, yeah, what I'm feeling here is, number one, a great big huge hug from the masculine, and two, rise above this longing. You know, it's, it's draining you. It's, it's, it's um, you know, you're, it, you're hurting yourself. Okay, so I hope this helps. I love you guys so much. Peace.